Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Siege Survival Glory of Victus. We left the last episode at the end of day 3, the start of day 4, and um, yeah, my guys are in a bad way. We have uh, a couple of guys that are sick, one one of which is gravely sick. Um, I now need to work out whether it's worth me uh, healing him or not, or just leaving him all day to languish and, uh, and probably eventually die actually. I don't think I've ever had a character die that hasn't been killed by a guard. Um, yeah, we are racing against time in the uh, one of the new challenge modes for the Lost Caravan. And uh, we have an attack coming uh, tomorrow, by the looks of things. We don't know the strength of that attack yet, so there's a few things that we need to do. Um, we are also going to try and send some food to the Bastion, because they're starving. And I think we're ready to repair the cog. So let's um, let's just slow down the time here. We've got Cassius is pretty bad off. I'm gonna just send him fishing and leave him to to get on with stuff. I think we're gonna focus on getting Zar here, who's also fairly good at carrying stuff. We're gonna give him some medicine here and drink some milk, and hopefully that will take some of that away. And we'll give this guy some food and then get him into bed and hopefully. Hopefully, he will be well enough to run around in the evening. And we are going to send um, Vital basically to do all of the donkey jobs here. Um, actually, we are going to need some more bricks and we're going to need some more bricks because so as long as we don't use any planks at the moment we should get some bricks on to cook just two huh Okay, because we are going to need... Oh, we're going to need two, exactly. Okay, let's... Um, let's see if we can help out the uh, Bastion there a touch. And I actually need to eat some food as well and drink some water. Which we'll do on our way to uh, repairing the cog. Right, go. Please, please, please get less sick. Yeah, I don't think we can actually fix Cassius. He's probably a goner. We are just going to try and be just try and be as quick as we can. Can we finish the cog today? Then we can work out what we need to actually do. Okay. The ship is now repaired and almost ready to sail. Almost. We just need supplies. Okay, so we need the astrolabe. I've got a few ideas of that. I'm going to try and guess where, if I was a developer, where I would hide the pieces. Um, based on where we started and what I know of the map so far, I reckon that there's probably one in the Sun Palace somewhere. Um, I know that's probably not very helpful. Uh, so we need those two bricks and we need one tools as well. Let's see if we can make a tools here. Because we do need to upgrade this workshop in order to fix the astrolabe which we don't have the parts for yet. With regards to clean water, we do have enough, providing we just drink milk from now on. And obviously food is an issue, we don't have any meat. But I think we do have some meat around the, the starting point where we came in. I'm hoping three shovels is enough to get us to where we need to go. It's just whether the Bastion can survive on an attack strength of 30. 
So we might also have to try and poison the Oasis now, which would give us three days, three nights. Um, yeah, he's not scavenging. He's scavenging. I need Vital to do stuff, I'm afraid. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We are starting here. It would make sense for the Sun Palace building to hold one of the Astrolabe parts. Um, and also somewhere over in the Frontier Pass to have one. Um, we have this route here, which we could take to try and get to the, this inactive passage. Um, but we could also go past the Oasis and try and poison it. Um, we are in a sandstorm though, so we might get caught. And then we would need to go across the Western Pass, which might use shovels and things. Um, uh, there are a couple of things there. So there's a trader here that we used last time, which doesn't appear to be there. And that had the astrolabe part in it, but then there is another one here which requires a torch. So my plan, I think, for this first night is to grab the tradables from here. Go and do this encounter. I can't remember if it's this building here or this building here. One of these two buildings has an encounter. And then try and poison the oasis. Come around here and try and poison the oasis. I think it was here last time. And grab, grab the water from there. Um, and then we are going to head towards this passageway. If we have time we would like to get into the Sun Palace. I don't think we're going to have that time. I'm going to take all of this. Um, just making sure I can't start there yet. We can't. Okay. So there are tradables. I can't remember whether they're here or up there. I'm going to take these torches as well. We'll take the planks and the fibres. I can't remember if it's this one or this one. I'm going to take those anyway. Right, okay. I'm hoping that that other thing is a trader. Yeah, I'll take those. I can't actually see. I think this is just fertilizer, right? Uh, no, wrong. We'll take those as well. I've got way too many torches. Let's um, get rid of a stack of those. Where was it? This building here. We needed a torch. And we are going to need that torch because we are ill. We do need to poison that oasis, I think. Actually, we only need five mils. I think we've got the stuff now to make those five mils. And ten clean water we've got. So it's literally just the astrolabe. Let's go and see what this is. I'm hoping it's not another person. Uh, you're one who lived here in better times. There's no time to waste, even though this manor might well be a graveyard. Now you can still hope to find something to fill inside. After a while, you manage to remove the dust block from the entrance to the building. Then you notice some survivors. That normally means that it's there's trading. Uh, it's, uh, it's the same one. It's the same one. So we're asking where all the men are. And then we can go into trade. And they do have an astrolabe part, so we're going to take that. Um, and they're going to want more stuff, so can we offer them planks? What about fibres? Or a torch? Or a shovel? Christ, um, I can't give all that away. can't give all that away. Uh, let's see what what's in here. Will they do a pot? Can we give a pot? Okay. One shovel, one torch. I need that part. Okay, right. Now, blocked path right there. Oh no, have I just given away a shovel that I need for that? Oh god. Ugh.
Okay, we need to get down. Totally can't see any uh, anything. Oh, Oasis is over here. Okay, I think we have a chance to poison it. Do we actually have any shovels left? We've got one left after this. Poison the oasis. Right, so that's poisoned. We are now heading this way. can't see any guards, but then I can't see. There's a guard right there. Uh, where have I gone here? The slope's over here. Let's clear this obstacle. I don't know if this is helping, but... Okay. Do you know what? We're gravely sit. I'm going to use the time to run into here and just see what's around. Let's see if there's any guards about. Let's see if there's anything that's chest like. Or Not seeing any guards yet. Yeah, if I was a dev, I'd chuck one in here. Hey, what's this? This is a chest here. Oh, would you believe it? <laughs> Thanks, devs. Um, yeah, I need to run back before I die, just in case we get even more sick. Okay. Please make it back now. Please don't die. Yeah, yeah, it's red hot. We are... I've got... Okay. And we have the enemy assault. So, I now have two gravely sick, hungry, thirsty, dying characters um, who probably aren't going to get the best medical care that we can give them. Um, we are going to basically package them up with some food and some water and condemn them to die um, we're waiting for the bricks and then we can actually upgrade this 34 is that because I poisoned them or because it was always going to be 34 I wonder right vital come here get this water I think Vital might be the guy that's going out tonight. He's going to fish. Because I need a chance of getting extra meat and stuff here. Right. Um, go and clip that. This guy can get bed rest. Take the bricks. Upgrade this. Oh, we should actually go and talk to this, uh, I think this is probably Maurice, isn't it, who's uh, offering us amnesty. And then never actually gives you, uh, or armistice rather, and then she never actually gives you uh, armistice. Okay. I have nothing to give them. Let's... Uh, have a little look at the uh, what we need here. Three iron. That's going to be a problem. We need three iron and three tools. And we've got dead animals coming in. 
And we need planks for tools, which we don't have. Um, how much iron can I make? One. Okay. Um, we would need to upgrade this, which would be bricks, which we can't make either. Hmm, okay. We can't make the medical workshop either. What have we got here? Surely this is a... Uh, this is death. Three wounded, three sick. Is that given enough to get more iron on? No, not quite. Bricks, we're short of bricks. Okay. I wonder if there's another astrolabe part over here. Right, we can't even get that way now. So we've got two days to sort ourselves out here. And we need firewood in order to make... Well, iron, really. Um, and we also need the planks in order to make the tools. And we need to find the other astrolabe part, and I have a feeling it's going to be over in that frontier base. This guy's tiredness has just gone into orange. We have the firewood we need. Such a small backpack. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Absolute waste of time walking down there. Yeah, I'd like, I would have liked to have looked through the uh, the old caravans there, but apparently, uh, apparently we can't get in there. Let's grab this, and then I'm going to go and look in the Sun Palace, so we're close to the exit. See what there is. Fibers don't really need them, to be fair. There's the bricks we might need. Let's take those. There's a shovel. Let's head back. Last thing we want is Vital getting sick. Oh, we've 
we've lost somebody. Zahir's dead. Zahir's dead, but they're determined to fight. Um, yeah, let's uh, not stand right next to that thing. He's sad. Okay. Let's get him some food. Actually, I need him. No rest for you. We got sick from the gusts of wind, apparently. Alright, what was it we needed again? Three iron. Three iron. Uh, three tools. We can make one tool because we have no planks. Okay, and what else do we need? Let's just check our supplies here. We've got two mils out of five and only 11 water left. I think it's time for these goats to go. Thank you for the extra milk there. Um, yeah. Gonna butcher that animal. Oh, hang on. Oh, we didn't take the stuff, that's why. I wonder if that's milk, whether it's urine. Let's just run over here. I want to see... Uh, I say run. Okay, we can make the food we need. How long have we got? Two days until the next fight. So, we are going to experiment now with... Um, where I felt that the last piece would be, which would be over here somewhere. Um, I think we're going to just beeline for this building here. Because, yeah, I would have put I would have put one in the Sun Palace for sure. Uh, we, I think we got lucky with this one. Um, I just have a feeling it's they're near. They're very near the extra digging spots. So I'm going to take a torch with me. Um. And I can't remember whether we have a shovel here or not. I have a feeling we probably would have needed one. We need planks as well for the tools, actually, thinking about it. Any planks in here? Um, no. Right. So, anything that doesn't look like it's going to contain planks, we're going to ignore. Or tools. Can't see what that is. Just a bit annoying. It's going to be building materials, right? Hey, there's planks in there. We'll take them. And we are kind of on the lookout for guards as well. we'll take the bricks, just in case. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to ignore that. Okay. Oh, 
nearly. Uh, how do I get past that guy? Do I have to go round? Okay, we'll go round. I want to check this though. Uh oh. Where are we? Um, there is an event there. I think last time we just... I can't remember what was up there. Actually, last time. How close are we? Pretty close. Dead animal there. I'm just beelining for this building. I can't see anything. Okay. Okay, that gives us the way out. I'm going to go up in here and see if there's anything that resembles a chest or... Sometimes you find them on dead bodies. So we are going to just uh, go up here. Oh yes, it's a corpse rather than a... Rather than a uh, digging jobby. Let's uh, get in here and have a look. What's this? Oh, it's a dead guy. Are you joking? Okay, taking it. We need planks now. That's wood. What have we got here? Please be planks. There's more wood there. Um, no, I need. I specifically need planks for making tools or tools themselves. Can we find any? Um. Which ways? Oh, this way. Let's just search through this rubble here. is just brushwood isn't it just grab all of that is there anywhere along here that might give me some planks do you think or is that the way down to this part hmm okay just some fibres okay let's run back we might have to survive another day here. Okay. Who's dead now? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, things aren't great. Let's, um, let's go and drink this smelly milk. I mean, it probably says it all right. Keep drinking it. Make you feel good. Right. Let's go and resume this. We are having a shocker. I think this is technically called a shocker. Let's um, collect this. We need to go here. So I think we need three of these. So hang on, we've got we've got the water, we've got the food, we've got the astrolabe parts. Can we get this going in order to leave today? I normally would have ended the episode at day six, at the end of day six, but with two guys dead, I'm really just clutching at straws here to see whether we can actually get a win from this. We're tired, we are depressed, we are sick. Um, we've had two guys die. We have a dead cow or whatever it is. Looks like a cow. 
Yeah, a dead cow in the middle of our base. We can repair the astrolabe. Can we repair the astrolabe today? Our animals are all starving. I mean, we found we got really lucky with the astrolabe parts. Yeah, look, he's 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 tired now. He's not going to be able to do anything. We have a battle coming. We're not sure when. Um, but if we can get this astrolabe done, we are certainly not going out and about. We are going to sleep. Then we might actually, inverted commas, complete the uh, scenario. Okay, we have an enemy assault as well. Let's get over there. We've got. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on. Cassie's got sick. Cassie's dead. Vital got sick. Okay, some of my food is spoilt. Some of my food is getting smelly. Some of my animals are starving. Do we still have enough food to get out of here? And water, we do. Okay. This is a. We're seeing them charging over the hill. Can we craft this thing in time? Kind of a job. Then let's get the hell out of here. Which would be ridiculous. Yeah, I know you're. We're, we're very, very under um, powered as well. Okay, Astrolabe's built. They're hurling projectiles at us. The Bastion's getting attacked. Um, supplies for the journey. Five of those. And the astrolabe. Come with me, lads. Let's go. Sail away and scenario. It took days of hard work. Or well, six days. Finally, your crew can escape this deadly trap. Set sail. We leave the gridly men land the soldiers behind to their doom. Set sail and weigh the anchor. Thanks to the astrolabium, you managed to navigate through the storms of the Lordly Bay and safely reach the mainland of the Sangmar Empire. Now it's time to find a bard who will immortalise your story. I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to class this as a victory, so I'm going to replay. Um, but yes, we've basically finished the challenge. However, I'm not very happy about losing two people um, to sickness, which was probably just greed really to try and get a few extra materials here and there or maybe that's what it took um, and we got lucky finding those astrolabe parts I basically made a guess on where I would hide them if I wanted to be a bit of a what's it kind of a, a developer so if any of them are seeing this thanks for hiding them as far away as possible um, although we did manage to read that and react to it so uh, and thanks for um, giving us the challenge we will certainly be trying the next one. If you guys enjoyed the Siege Survival playthroughs, leave us a like and chuck us a comment. And if you uh, are subscribed, thanks very much. And if you're not, please uh, consider doing so. Um, let's press F to pay our respects to Zahir and also Cassius. I uh, hope to see you guys around for the next episode. Take care of yourselves and stay safe.